All right, well, welcome back. It seems like you're relaxed and happy. What are you, what's the mood right now? Uh, sorry? How are you feeling right now? I feel good, feel, feel, feel great. Feel great, it's a, it's a good weekend. I'm gonna fight, so. This is obviously an opponent you're familiar with. What were the thoughts when you got the name? Uh, it's good because uh, I wanted this revenge uh, uh, badly. And uh, facing Mateus Nicolau again, uh, it's just going to prove that the judge last time was wrong. And uh, it's, it's, it's time to, to, to beat him very badly. Was this a, a, a fight that was always on your radar? You knew you always wanted to get that one back. Were you asking for it, or did it just fall into your lap? No, it just fell into my lap because uh, anyone else want to fight, and uh, the other fighters that's, that that uh, um, was ahead of me, they are scheduled to fight, and uh, and yeah, I was supposed to fight uh, Kai in December again. And he didn't accept again, and so the only option was Matheus Nicolau, and uh, I accept. Have you been following his career since you last fought? Do you see him improving at all, or do you feel like he's the same fighter from the last time you fought? No, I don't. I, I don't follow him. But uh, what I what I saw from his last fight is uh, he's been the same same guy. You know, he's been the same guy in 2021. Uh, well round, but uh, not nothing changed, nothing new for me. How have you changed since then? I've been I've been improved a lot. I've improved a lot. You know, my uh, my win strike has been tell all the time. I've been more aggressive, uh, and uh, it's just so my my all victors. Do you see this fight going the same way in the sense that it's going to go the full rounds and it's going to go to the judges, or do you feel like this time you can No, no, it? definitely, definitely no, definitely no. This fight's going to be different. Uh, I pretend finishing on the first round. Uh, I, have a, I have a goal to chase, so I'm not going to waste any time this time. So definitely I'm be, I'm, you guys can expect a very aggressive Manel on Saturday night. Is that partly because the fight went to decision and because it was split last time that you're a little worried about letting that happen again? No, I'm just I'm just gonna be me, and uh, I like I say I have a goal to chase. Is there any extra pressure uh, since it's the first fight of the year to make sure that you get the year going on a right on the good note? No, no pressure at all. No pressure at all. It's uh, another fight. Uh, I think the pressure is gonna be more on him. Uh, last time he lost. Um, I've been winning all the time, so no pressure at all. I'm being fighting at home, good, relaxed, and uh, uh, ready for, for my year. And last one for me, did you make any New Year's resolutions or any goals for this year that you can share with us? Yeah, my goal is to be a champion. This I believe that uh, after the beating Mateus Nicolau, uh, I have the third shot. This is, this is my goal, it's, it's obvious. Um, so you, you just said right there, like you feel like if you go out there and finish Mateus, you leapfrog Moreno and Albazi for the for, for the title shot. Yes, uh, of course, it's gonna be depend uh, um, how I'm gonna win. So uh, this is gonna dictate uh, everything. So this is because I'm looking forward to to the to the knockout or to to finish him on uh, on first round, definitely. Overall, <coughs> your, your your UFC career so far, like, has it been frustrating because you haven't been as active as you maybe thought you were going to be because of the pullouts and because of all, all of your opponents? Uh, yes, it's um, um, it's frustrating for some uh, at the moment, at the moment, not at all, you know. But at the moment, you you put a lot of investments uh, on your fight camp. Um, a lot of a lot of um, injuries during the fight camp. Everything you know, go through this, and then you don't fight because someone pull out because this is is a little bit frustration. But you know, it's part of the job. It's part of this uh, this sport. Uh, things happen, and we have to move forward. Don't live by the past. What did you think of Pantoja's performance at UFC 269 or 2 296? Uh, it was a little bit sloppy. You know, but uh, he did he did great. He did for win. You know, he did for win. 
Uh, right now he's he had the belt, so um, he's gonna play dirty to win. Not a, a performance, not gonna expose himself, but uh, good for him. I'm here to to performance. You know, I'm gonna be me all the time, aggressive, and um, hopefully I'm gonna face him this year. Do a Brazil versus Portugal kind of a fight. Sorry. Do a Brazil versus Portugal kind of a fight. Yes, definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Um, and then finally, I just wanted your thoughts on the Amir Albazi versus Moreno fight. Um, I guess do you do you do you, do you disagree with the UFC seeing that as as a number one con contender fight? And no, no. Who say that? Who say that? Nobody. No, nobody. It's not number one contender. The the fight. It's a good fight. I hope Amir win uh, Moreno. Uh, but he's not a, a top contender fight. The top contender fight is me. You know. I fight aggressive. I'm. I have the the type of the karate to be a champion. So, I'm the number one contender uh, for the title after the Saturday night. And how do you see that fight going? Obviously, you you, you trained with Albazi for for a while now. Do you think he beats uh, Brandon Moreno? It's, it's not gonna be easy, but uh, I believe uh, I believe I and I want that he win. You know. So, I don't know how. You know. I just know how I gonna finish these guys. But uh, I want to tell you, you won, of course. Good luck. Thank you. Just one. We, we've seen recently in the past you were sharing words with other fighters up on the stage like Izzy and showing more of your personality. Is 2024 going to be the year where you really call your shot and, and take no bull from any other fighters? No, it's a situation, you know. Uh, if people want to, to talk to me or you want to... Um, uh, make uh, make a trouble. They're gonna see who I am. You know, it's, it's just it was just a moment. You know, it's nothing. It's, it's nothing personally. You know, it's just I don't like you know what is step on on my way. It's just it is what it is. Thank you, my man, for taking the time. Just a quick one. You mentioned um, and welcome to 2024. Hope Thank you. Good one. You mentioned sloppy. Uh, as a fighter to another fighter, I'm sure you're able to see things that we don't. What do you mean by that with the champion's performance? You know, it's not a good performance. You know, it's not, wasn't, it was the, uh, a good performance. You can see a lot of walls on his game uh, in, that, in that night. And uh, it's the walls that uh, we're going to take advantage and steal his game and uh, uh, to win against him, you know. Uh, like I said, it was a sloppy fight. It was not the best, the best, uh, the best fight of him. But like I say, he did good to win. Do those things kind of benefit you? Like you're like, okay, don't notice what I notice because when we meet up, I can expose all that. Yes, yes, definitely. He, yeah, definitely, I'm gonna expose him, his, his game. You know, um, the, he took he took a lot of damage, and I believe that against me, one 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 shot is already on the floor. So. He couldn't take the too much damage against me, but it's okay. And I and just to circle back to your comment about that that finish, that's kind of awesome. Um, calling your shot, mm. predicting the knockout on this weekend, because that's what people want to see. Start off the year with that that big bang, and get your guy. You said out of them in the first round. Yes, yes. This is uh, my prediction. I'm gonna I'm I'm not gonna start slow. I'm gonna start very aggressive, and. Uh, I know Matheus Nicolau is concerned about my power because last time we fought, uh, he had a uh, uh, surgery in his eye. He's very concerned about everything what I bring to the table, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna move forward to him. You know, all the time I'm gonna hunt him, hunt him, hunt him uh, till I hurt him, and uh, he's not gonna last uh, more than five minutes. Believe me. Understood. You're the co-main, so I guess we're gonna have to wait for that. But I can't wait on Saturday. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.